would you feel about running a 5K race on a sweltering summer day, having stuff thrown at you from all directions? Oh, and paying for the privilege. If you don't think that sounds like a lot of fun, get ready for a colorful surprise. It's steamy, it's sweaty, it's the hottest party around. Here's ABC's Lindsay Janice. At the beginning of every race, there are two possible outcomes, victory or crushing defeat. And on this sweltering summer day, I have a lot of competition. 5,000 athletes ready to give it their all. People like Megan Schutz, who you're about to find out, has a lot to prove. I'm ready. But before I even get properly limbered up, the countdown begins. And we're off. But I'm not nervous because fortunately today, there is a third possible outcome in this race, getting tie-dyed beyond recognition. This is the Brooklyn Color Run. Five kilometers of untimed, unbridled revelry, where white t-shirt wearing participants get bomb sprayed and doused with dyed cornstarch, all in the name not of charity or victory, but sheer joy. The happiest 5K on the planet is here! With entry fees of around $30 to $50, they're literally paying for the privilege to get doused. I just thought, what would happen if I got people to start in white and over the course of a 5K, you covered them in colors and then had a party afterwards? And party they do. All right, it's a few more ladies today. Founder and master of ceremonies Travis Snyder says he just had a hunch. I think people in life need a break. At your job, you're competing. And I think sometimes people want to run just for fun and not worry about the clock or the guy next to them. That hunch was right on point. The business registered 600,000 runners at more than 50 events in 49 cities last year. This year, there will be around 100 events with a million participants. That's tens of millions of dollars. Plus, there are sponsors like Chevrolet lining up for a piece of the action. Chevy is the official ride of the Color Run. The Color Run is leading the pack of so-called fun runs, though some seem anything but fun, including the Spartan race where runners jump over fire and under barbed wire. Can't wait to do it again. Tough Mudder, where participants battle obstacles, including electric shocks. And the zombie mud run, where you're chased by the running dead. There are now more than 30,000 5Ks to choose from in the U.S. alone. And there's a powerful force driving their popularity. Social media, an unexpected goldmine of free publicity. With participants desperate for the perfect profile pic, Come on, babe, hold it. the companies behind are milking it for all it's worth, creating photo ops and encouraging runners to Instagram away. Due to the viral nature of social media and just the images of the Color Run are pretty powerful, it's made it grow very quickly. In fact, the Color Run is so popular they bought out the entire country of white t-shirts. Our t-shirt company that started with us called me in the midst of our explosion and they said there's no more white t-shirts in the United States right now for you to order. That's your breath and get ready to go crazy. Snyder says fun and accessibility is the winning combo. An event like the Color Run does amazing things for recruiting people to come and participate in an athletic event that normally wouldn't. They would be too intimidated. 60% of color runners are 5K virgins. And then there are people like my running buddy, Megan, who's come to Brooklyn to celebrate the one year anniversary of her open heart surgery. Megan's doctors had discovered a heart defect that she'd had since birth and operated immediately. I saw the surgeon, he said, I wouldn't let you go for another two months without surgery. Now, after months of therapy, she's determined to fulfill her goal of running a 5K. But will she have the stamina? We may not be setting any speed records, but Megan and I are getting it done. And finally, we cross the finish line. <laughs> Megan may be tired, but she's on top of the world. Even though I can't do silly things like wear short necklaces because of my scar, I can run 5Ks and do anything else now. And it's clear that thousands of other people here feel pretty good too. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Janice in New York.